What's up guys, it's Susie Bullock from HeyGrillHey.com and if you're watching this video, that means we already have something in common. We both love great barbecue, which is perfect because at Hey Grill Hey, my whole goal is to help you make better barbecue so you can feed the people you love and become a backyard barbecue hero. Today we're doing that with a pretty simple recipe but a fun technique for a grilled spatchcock chicken with a homemade chicken seasoning. Let's do it. So what is a spatchcock chicken? I know the name sounds funny, but it's essentially a technical term for butterflying a chicken, cutting the backbone out, pressing it flat so you have a nice even surface area for grilling. I have a lot of recipes for cooking a chicken this way, but today we're gonna keep it simple. Simple dry rub out on the grill. I know it sounds intimidating, but I'm here to show you how to get it done. All you need is 55 minutes, 10 minutes to prep, 45 minutes out on the grill. Here's what you'll need. A three to four pound fryer chicken, a couple tablespoons of olive oil. For our dry rub seasoning, you'll need a tablespoon of kosher salt, a tablespoon of smoked paprika, two teaspoons of black pepper, a teaspoon of dried rosemary, a teaspoon of dried parsley, and a teaspoon of dried thyme. You'll also need a teaspoon of dried garlic, a teaspoon of dried onion, and a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You'll also need the zest of one lemon. Let's get started. All you really need are some kitchen shears and a cutting board. Flip your chicken over, breast side down on your cutting board. Use your shears to cut a single line up one side of the backbone. This chicken is about three and a half, four pounds, and it'll serve my whole family of five because we have three young kids. We've got one half of the breastbone already cut through. Now we just need to repeat on the other side of the breastbone. Our backbone is out. Now you can discard this or you can save it for making homemade chicken stock, which I totally recommend because homemade chicken stock is delicious. This next step is super simple, but it's gonna save you a lot of effort when you flip your chicken over. Use your shears and just create a small snip right here in the breastbone. Snipping that cartilage right there is exactly what you want. Now just flip your chicken over Use the heel of your hand to press down directly in the center of the breastbone. Snipping that cartilage helps our chicken lay nice and flat. Next step is to tuck the wing tips. This will help prevent these tiny little tips from burning on the grill, and it'll also open up the breast for more even seasoning. Just like that, your spatchcock chicken is prepped. It means it's time to make the dry rub seasoning. In a small bowl, you just wanna combine all of those dry rub ingredients. Our salt, our smoked paprika. This one's good for color and a nice smoky flavor. Black pepper, dried rosemary, dried parsley, dried thyme, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, and some lemon zest. The seasoning works great for pretty much any chicken you want to put it on. It has a really nice balance of savory flavors, a kiss of heat from that cayenne pepper, and then the lemon zest in there just brightens the whole thing up. We use this all the time on chicken breasts, chicken thighs, chicken wings, whole chickens, you name it. It's a pretty great chicken seasoning all around. This seasoning recipe makes enough for one whole chicken. You wanna make sure that all of the spices are evenly distributed and you don't have any clumps of those seasonings. Now it's time to season our chicken. We're gonna drizzle both sides with some olive oil and then sprinkle on that seasoning. Start on the back side of your chicken first. And get some of that olive oil on there and then sprinkle on a little bit of your seasoning. This is one of the beautiful parts of the spatchcock chicken is you can get your seasoning on the underside of your bird. All right, now flip it over and do the other side. Make sure you season all sides of your chicken. This is the perfect recipe to make over the weekend or at the beginning of the week because then I have chicken leftovers to use in salads, in sandwiches, it's like perfect meal prep. Now that our chicken's seasoned, we're heading out to the grill. 
We've got our grill preheated to 450 degrees for two zone cooking, which means we have coals on one side keeping it nice and hot, no coals on this side. And we're gonna start our chicken on the side with no coals. That means it's gonna cook evenly. And then we're gonna finish with a final crispy sear. Just turn your thighs out so they lay flat on the grill. Close this up. Let it cook until the internal temperature of the chicken reads 140 degrees Fahrenheit. It's probably gonna take about 30 to 40 minutes. Our chicken's been on the grill about 35 minutes. Let's take a look. Oh, it's beautiful. We're looking for an internal temperature at this point of about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. There we go. This is exactly where we want it to be. Now it's time for the second phase of our cook. If you like crispy chicken skin and you want some nice grill marks on top of your bird, you're gonna wanna flip it over onto the direct heat side where the coals are nice and hot. Now we're gonna close the lid and let this finish cooking. It's not gonna take very long, so don't go far. We're looking for a final internal temperature of 165 degrees in the thickest part of the breast. All right, our chicken's been on for about seven minutes, skin side down, let's check the temperature. All right, we're gonna carefully pull this off the grill and let it rest for five to 10 minutes. And the carryover cooking is gonna bring the internal temperature of this chicken up to 165 degrees. Oh, look at that crunchy, crunchy skin. Look how juicy and tender these thighs are. All right, let's take this inside. Now, one of the beautiful things about a spatchcock chicken is how easy it is to carve. Simply take your knife, run it along this seam right here, and ta-da, perfect chicken quarters. Take off the other thigh, take your knife, right down the center of the breastbone, and then turn when you hit the ribs. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. We've got the thighs and the legs, we've carved off the breasts, and then you can also cut off the wings if you like to eat those. All right, this chicken is looking amazing. It's time for my taste tester. Here I am. Todd, bok, bok, bok. Bok, bok. Wanna try some chicken? Yeah. All right, I got legs and mm -hmm. thighs. All mm -hmm. right, grab one of those. I'm gonna try some of this Ooh. chicken breast. Look at that char, baby. Crispy skin. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so juicy. I love that little kiss of flavor from the grill. What seasoning is this? Chicken seasoning, Holy like moly. homemade chicken seasoning. Smoked paprika, lemon, herbs. There's a little kick in there, right? That's good. It's very herby. Bright. A little, a little, some salt, some salt tickling my tongue. <laughs> I'm gonna finish prepping this chicken for our meals later this week. I hope you guys give this recipe a try at home. If you do, leave a comment, let us know how it turned out for you. Better yet, post a picture on social media, use the hashtag HeyGrillHey. That way Todd and I can see it and cheer you on in your journey to becoming a backyard barbecue hero. See you next time. <laughs>